It's actually called that place. That place. Where, 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 where do they tell where it's at? Oh God, where are we? We're Emerson? On Emerson and County Line, right by Greenwood. Right That's right. There. My name's Chris Lightfell. I don't to sell you guys. Thanks for joining us. Um, we're going to give you a little breakdown of what we got going on this week. We have a lot. We haven't been here in a couple of weeks, Brandon. What's been going on? You've been mad at me? What? I've missed you so. Yes, he's missed me. So that's good. I've missed you so. so. He's missed me, but uh, man, we got a lot to talk about here. So much craziness going on. I'm sure you guys all know. You probably pay attention. What's happening, John? Um, got to thank our sponsors first. Go ahead. What do you got for us? Hey, uh, you know, first and foremost, Jamie Jackson and Ryan Gibbons there at, at, uh, at Sam Mash. Thank you so much uh, for helping us get our sound in order. What's up, Don? Um, because we were definitely, definitely struggling Brandon, on Sean. that. Um, that was rough. Um, we also uh, have uh, with CJ's pub right here with some good uh, South salt right there. South Bend, South Bend Indiana. Bend Indiana. They got Go some great, uh, you know, barbecue sauce for us. Thank you, CJ's. The stacks oh, are always one of our favorites right there. Uh, oh, yeah. Big announcement for us. We have Connors. Now, that is up on the north side. What exactly is that? Uh, it's right there, Broad River. Well, that's kind of north side to me. You know, so, right behind Firehouse. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, uh, 32 right there. So, oh, wow, you got the numbers now. Well, I, I know my stuff from there. So, um, we're going to be starting to do some stuff from there as well. So, anybody in the Broad River North Side area, please come hang out. What's happening, Nancy? Good to see you guys. So, uh, we're going to cover a lot of stuff. We got some UFC talk, some football talk. Um, what else you got for us over there, Brandon? Yeah, we, we got some stuff going on here in Indiana, Indiana House meeting. Um, Mike stuff Pitt that uh, Governor, Governor Holcomb has proposed, stuff that's you know coming up legislatively. Uh, Jim Lucas has become one of my favorite uh, legislators in Indiana. Uh, from my uh, from District 69, I believe that's down by Spencer, Indiana. Is where he's Sounds from. like it. I don't know. Um, he's the one. You know, he's the one that did the, the or has a proposal for, that our First Amendment should require a license, much like our Second Amendment. Oh, okay. Um, for journalists. What else? We, man, we got another another big shooting to talk about, unfortunately. It seems like that's a common theme. But uh, the big thing for me is, I don't know what's going on here, but um, why, why is everybody, I mean, everybody I know from back 100 years ago, like, did a little kids, or why is everybody coming out with these little, everybody's a sex offender right now. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you ever God. seen anything like it? Everybody's come out of the world talking about Things that happen to him, so we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit too. So good to see all you guys on here, man. Let's have Mr. Gilliam. Good to see you, Vince. All right, all right, all right. So um, let's start right off, man. I like to get into. Uh, a little, I know a lot of people like to watch us uh, for the UFC talk. Um, let's do it. So there we go. Okay, so with the UFC talk, we got UFC just happened this week. It was a big one. It was two seventeen. It was a great card for anybody to watch, but it was full of upsets. I mean, I. I was picking everything wrong. Like the first fights, I was getting all right. You know, I was like, okay, I'm really smart. I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about when it came to the big fights. I do not know what happened. So, um, okay. Can, can I stop you? I just want to one thing. Did, did, did you pick uh, Bisping or uh... – Man, you know, I, I, I kept telling everybody I want Bisping to get beat up, you know, because I like GSP. He's a great guy. But, um, you know, I picked him to win, man. I didn't think – I thought the four-year layoff would be too much. And, you know, I honestly thought that – um, I'm just gonna angle I, I didn't see how Bisbee, he, he just didn't seem like he was in it very much, uh, middle eight to go with. So. Sure. Now, with, uh, hey guys on both sides, if you guys can't hear us, please let me know. I'm just let to, us know. We're, we're still adjusting some things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? I don't know how to get this to sound better, man. Just, just talk. Just talk about okay. the mic there. Okay. So first of all, like the, the, the first fight was Johanna. You know, she's the girl who just always dominates. She's great. Um, she got beat up. She got knocked out in the first round by Rose. Now, Rose can be good. Sometimes she's great. Sometimes she's not so great. Um, but she went out there and just dominated. Beat her up real quick and knocked her out. So, <laughs> okay. Audio quality is bad. We're trying, brother. So, uh, she got beat up. She got knocked out uh, by Rose for the first round, which kind of threw me off. Uh, she just seemed unstoppable. She's one of those people I thought she's just not going to get beat for a while. She got beat right away. Um, another one right after that, TJ fought Cody. Now, TJ... It looked really good, but, you know, Cody just came up and knocked out – or not knocked out. He beat the brakes off of um, – what's his name there? Gene, who am I thinking of? Um, uh, 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 Dominic Cruz, that's right. Beat up Dominic Cruz really bad, and I thought he was going to – he probably would. He got knocked out in the second round. So, I mean, man, I, just right, left, boom, boom. I was like, what is happening right here? What's going on, Gene? It's good to see you. Um, so, after that, we had GSP versus Bisbee. And to be honest with you, I kept thinking, I want GSP to win. I like him a lot. He's a good guy, but I don't see – what he's going to do to Bisbee. Bisbee's not very bigger. I'm not thinking about that, but the thing is, he's hard to hold down. 
Um, but he didn't look fast. He didn't look – he looked kind of sloppy. He looked kind of scared. He looked like he didn't care about the fight that much. I'm thinking maybe, you know, he's been the champ for a while. He kind of met all his goals. He has other interests, and he just didn't care anymore. So, I don't know. I, think I, mean, I kind of got the idea maybe he was intimidated a little bit. It, it might, be my, might be my mind because I'd be intimidated. Did, but that's how he looked. You're right. He looked like he wasn't there. He was, like, thinking about other stuff, and he, he was nervous. He didn't look like he was him fighting, you know. Right. And I'm thinking, to be honest with you, looking at this again – you know, I thought he got knocked out by Anderson Silva way long time ago. So, okay, he didn't get – I mean, he didn't, but uh, he gave him that fight. And then he got the, a title shot, which he shouldn't have got really, but somebody got hurt. They threw him in there. Um, you know, Luke had already beat him up before, so I don't think he took it serious in the any one. And then ever since then, he's only had one fight. And who did he fight? He fought a guy who was like 46 years old, you know, Dan Henderson, and, and got knocked down twice. So he really hadn't looked good lately, but, you know, it is what it is. He won the fight, so congratulations, you know, but – he looked terrible here. I thought he looked like he wasn't in the fight. He didn't know what he was doing. What's going on, Phil? Mr. Gatsy, mentor right there. So it, it was, a, it was a, you know, I was glad for George. He's a great guy. But, man, I didn't see it coming like that. Sure. Yeah. What do you, what, what's next for St. Pierre, do you think? I, I've, I've, I heard, think? I've heard so much so much talk about this. That he'll, he'll drop back down to weight class. Well, I don't think Dana wants him to because Dana doesn't like Tyrone Woodley. He doesn't want Woodley to get a good fight because he's like, we'll keep you up here and put good fights where you, you look good at 185. Why put you down there and put on Woodley? He puts on boring fights. We're not going to do that. That's what that's what I think he's going to try and do. All right. So what else the money? At, at that weight, I think he looks out of place. Yeah, but I he mean, it looks like he's uncomfortably big at that weight. It doesn't really matter as long as he can win himself. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So, for the UFC standpoint, so. fair after enough. After that, we have a good man. We have a great card, a free one, I believe. It is on um, this Saturday. It's going to be in Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, but you know, the main event is uh, Dustin Poitier versus uh, Pettis. Good fight okay. right there. Then you have a great card. This is a this is a fight I'm really looking forward to. You got Matt Brown versus Diego Sanchez. Man, what a fight that's going to be. Diego hasn't been uh, nearly himself. Matt Brown is a beats all the time. Uh, that should be a great fight. I'm looking forward to that. Then you got a Brazilian named Junior um, Abini versus Andre Arlovski. He's somehow still fighting. The dude's been fighting forever. He gets oh, knocked out. Him. I don't know, but he gets knocked out a lot. But if you, he's here's the thing. If you touch him, he's probably going to fall down, but it's hard to touch. Good movement. You know, good yeah. hand work, feet work. Um, then you got Nate Marquette, who's been fighting forever again, versus uh, Ferreira. Um, another good throwback fight for everybody. Joe Lozon versus Clay Guida. It should be an awesome fight. And then you got um, Sage uh, Northcutt versus a guy named Quinones. Uh, Sage was a big hype right there. Kind of lost a couple, so we'll see what happens for, with him now. So that's what we got going on UFC. Um, anybody got anything they want to comment on that? Great. We'll tap it around it. So talk about that for a little bit. We'll see. We're just going to go off of, off of the mic on the computer. Well, great. So now it's paused. What happened? What did you do? That's still going. Uh, put it back on. I don't know what else to do. See if that'll help. I bet it doesn't. doesn't. But why would that why would that freeze up like that? Uh, technical difficulties, guys. I apologize. Nah, that ain't going to help anymore. Well, I don't know what happened. So hopefully, maybe unplug. I don't know, man. Let's see if we can. I don't know, man. This hey, here's is, what we're going to do. Yeah, we're gonna, what's happening, Nicole? Good? I don't know if this is going to work anymore. Uh, oh, my, video's not, but my video's not working, so I don't know. Well, what's happening, Club? We're going to see you guys. we got likes coming through. Know, People but, like us. <laughs> well, whatever. We'll just keep talking. I don't think it's going to work, man, so can we? And you're gone. Uh, we got Phil Iria, Brian Kelly, Bill Norberg. Thanks for joining us, guys. Glad to see you back. Thank you, John. I don't know if you can see me anymore, but what, can, what should I do with this, man? Should we turn it off and restart it? I don't yeah, know. I think we should restart I mean, it. I don't know. So, hey, we're going to take a little break. For those online, we're going to take yeah, a little 30-second little, little break. break. Yeah. I'm going to leave you guys on so I don't lose you. No, we unplugged that thing. The I thing unplugged it because we can't hear out of this mic. They're not, they're not picking it up. Yeah. So, so we just need to use the mic from the, from the computer. So we need to oh, lose, lose this one. So, but, it, but it still got plugged in. It went, it went blood dead. So we have to restart. Hit, con, hit control R on that thing and refresh that browser. And we'll get rid of this. Control R. Yep. Leave page. And then go up to go live again and just put a, put a we're back. I don't know what to do. Right click it. No, left click on it. May as well leave it up because it's us. How many people you tagged? I didn't. I don't think you tagged any, did you? Not on this one. I've never done it. I don't even know how to use this. Something's wrong. 
There you go. Uh, default mic, real tech audio, allow. We're coming back, I promise. Well, that sucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, we are back. I don't know what happened there, man. Chaos, you know. Uh, the gremlin things, the computer thing. It's the worst. Uh, computer hacks. I don't it's know. It's the worst. Technology is the worst. So that stuff happened. That just happened. So I apologize, but we're back now with with. Uh, we're done with our UFC fight talk. If you have anything else you want to talk about it, bring it. We'll come back to it. But okay, what else now? Um, okay, besides that, I said we're going to talk a little football. So we got a little bit of pro football right now. Um, and pro football is getting a little crazy. I don't know who's going to win from week to week. What's happening, Tim? Rex, thanks for joining us back, fellas. Sorry I had a little bit of problems there. But okay, so uh, pro football right now, we got a lot of parity going on. Best team right now is Philadelphia. Um, kind of hard to argue that, especially when they get a a steal. They got a great running back now. He just came over there. They're eight and one. Uh, nobody else has got only one loss. We have a lot of teams with two losses. We got New England with two, Pittsburgh with two, the Rams with two, New Orleans with two, Minnesota with two. Um, those are all very good teams. Uh, you also have Tennessee and Jacksonville at five and three. You have Kansas City at five and three. And besides that, you have two teams, San Francisco and Cleveland. They haven't won a game yet. They are terrible. Uh, you want to play those type of teams every week, you know, so them are the Colts. Hey, but they have, I mean, the Colts have a better record than Cleveland. Yeah. We're beating somebody. Yeah, we, I think we beat them barely. I think we beat them in overtime. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think the, the suck, uh, suck for luck is uh, – doing us too good like we did a few years ago. But that is a big question. A lot of people are questioning whether they knew the whole time luck was out. I mean, what do you I guys think? I mean, here's the thing that's weird. I think a lot of people think that luck was coming back. Uh, a lot of people thought that he never was going to come back. Um, the problem with this, and I don't really think they did. I used to really think that, but the reason I don't is right now um, it just showed Ursa. You just saw Tony Dungy was talking, and Tony Dungy said he didn't know the camera was on or something. He was like, yeah. Uh, Ursay says it's all between Luck's heads, uh, you know, it's in his head, and he, he's not really hurt. So I think they thought he was going to come back, I think. I thought they, they didn't think it'd be very quick. They talked. They kind of laid it out. They knew he'd be about gone half the year, but they thought he might come back. But here's another thing. That's a bad problem when, you know, your your owner's telling all these other people that uh, your coach isn't quite or, or your, your number one player isn't using his head right and that he is a problem. And it's all on his head. That's a big problem. I think Luck's going to be like, piss off, dude. I mean, I think, I think Ursay's been the issue for a while. I don't think a lot, a lot of Colts fans that. feel that way. Um, you know, me personally, I think they've known this this entire time that it wasn't going to that it wasn't going to work out. Um, what do you mean, this year? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because, it's very possible. I think if they, it makes sense they would do that just to get ticket sales up. You know, yeah. oh, he's going to come back when to make the playoffs. Yeah, you know. So I get that. That makes sense. I mean, what was it? Robert, what, Robert, week, week two or week three or something like that? You could, Lisa, buy, you could buy tickets for $9, nine to, well, or something that, like that. I mean, they just wanted people to keep coming. I get it. That makes sense. But So um, that's going on with the Colts. But, I mean, some of these other teams, man, I mean, Philadelphia kind of is a big surprise to me. At eight and one, I, I didn't see that coming. So Yeah. They're killing. I don't know. There's, that's, that's the thing with a league like that. There's always somebody there to take there's, a place. There's just so much parity right now. You just don't know who's – I don't know. It's weird. One week, you don't have any teams. you just like, I know they're going to win. I just don't know any week. Anybody can lose. What else? We, right. we, got here some, a joke. we got here some college football. Um, Georgia's number one. Alabama, two. Notre Dame, three. Clemson, four. I mean, there's some jacking going on here. I'm not real sure how Georgia overtook Alabama, whatever. Um you know, Notre Dame's right there. Uh, Notre Dame's doing doing so solid. You know, they've been killing teams. I mean, so ranked solid. teams, they've been doing really good. Um, who they, they got Miami this week. Miami, yeah. a lot of people don't know they're ranked seventh. They're undefeated. They're 8 no. So this is going to be a very tough test for them. What's happening, John? Wait, wait, Notre Dame lost to what, Georgia? This by year? one, by one point. By one. And so they're ranked first. So and, and Georgia's, I mean, a, a hell of a team, and they've been blowing out. Blowing out. Hey, what's up, Craig Smith? We got Roger Rogers. Is that right? Roger Rogers. Roger Rogers. But you're Victor, Victor. Uh, <laughs> Paul Schroeder, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brandon. Ryan, what's happening, buddy? Guys, we got thanks. Ryan watching straight from Mississippi. Uh, good to have you on here, big guy. How you been? All right. The cool. U should def be in a top four. You said they're ranked, ranked number – They're ranked eighth right now. Ranked if they win – you know, it's, it's all going to come out right here. If, if they beat Notre Dame, they'll go up in ranking. I mean, they're very good. What's happening, Cheryl? How you guys doing? Okay, so they will be up there a little bit higher. Um Wisconsin is ranked eighth, and they're eight now. So, hey, no respect to them either. I get that. Now, the weird one to me is 
the weird game this week is you have Michigan State, and they're playing at the Ohio State. Now, mm-hmm. Michigan State is now ranked 12. Ohio State is ranked 13. You know what the point spread is? Take a guess. Wrong. Oh, God, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Michigan State is getting 15 and a half points. Holy they're ranked hell. one point ahead of them, and they're getting 15 and a half points. I can't figure that out. You know, I'm a gambler. I understand that. That's like a sucker bet, but I, you how know can what? you not take oh, Michigan Ohio State? Ohio State is the only – Big Ten team that I will root against no matter who they're playing. Yeah. Let's go, Michigan State. Well, it was weird. Last week, you know, Ohio State, you know, they just came off a, a weekend before a big win over Penn State. And what do they do? They go get beat by unranked Iowa 55 to, I don't know, they got beat by 31 points. It was unbelievable. I was just like, how do you get beat that bad when you're a rank, when you're ranked like, they just beat the second ranked team and then they get smoked. It was, it was crazy. So, I don't know. What else you got for me over there, buddy? What Man, we, 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 we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got a great, great state of Indiana. You know, we've got a new legislative year coming up. Woo! So um, there, there are some big things, some, some medical marijuana debates. I don't know where – we've never talked about this. I don't know where you fall on it. Um, but, you know, Jim Lucas is, is, is bringing some things up to allow for – now, we're not talking about recreational. We're talking about strictly medical, – Medical. I'm this all for medical. Me, medical marijuana. Um, you know, th- those opposed to the prosecuting att- attorney's counsel, of course – uh, the quote from them is, I feel like there's a lot there is a lot of, quote, if you will, dishonesty uh, in the medical aspect of it. If you really research and look into legitimate medical organizations, Michael, you doing, there really aren't That's any it. that support marijuana as a medicine. I haven't done the research on this quite so much. I don't think that it's the miracle drug that people try to make it out to be. Um, but at the same time, I think that with with these laws, you have to look at, look at externalities. What are the externalities of legalizing marijuana? Who's going to be affected? outside of the person using it, really no one. And yeah. so I can't I can't back legislation that prohibits you from doing something that has no externalities to it. Now, here is something I, I would say. Um, I have seen certain cases where we're talking about things going on in Colorado. Uh, this is with, like, the cannabis oils and whatnot, and they're giving them to kids who have intestinal problems, and um, it calms them down and has them – being able to do certain things, and then when they have to leave the state, they, they start getting sick and they have to get back into Colorado real quick because if their parents get the kid tested and they find out they have mar- like uh, that THC in their system, that they will be taken away. Sure. So uh, I do McDonald's think that there is I do think there is a little bit of medical uh, functionality for this in usage that could be very beneficial. And I can't see anybody who would be taking that who would be better off by taking one of these narcotics, or opioid, or whatever. Those are probably the worst things they can do for you, I would think. So um, I have a problem thinking, what's happening here? I think in anything different. I mean, I, I don't understand why you would want it to be illegal for, like, any health concerns when you know the other ones take go bad. What do we got? Uh, Gina pers- Lawson, thank you for watching, hey, Gina. Gina. Thanks for watching. Me personally, I, again, I, I, I'm not a doctor. I, don't, I have not looked into the medical side of it much. Um, but I have a hard time with Indiana saying, no, we're not going to allow this. Even if there's the smallest potential for medical benefit, simply yeah. because, I mean, why? Who's being hurt by it? Yeah. I mean, are you going to get some people who are going to do it just for recreation? Absolutely. But here's the thing. Those people do it anyway. You're not stopping people from exactly. doing it. So what, 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 what are you trying to do here? I mean, you might as well try and regulate a little bit and make some money off of it if, if it's going to be happening anyway, the way I see it. And you're not really stopping people from doing anything. So what's the point? Now, I'm not saying we should go 100% recreational. I, I'm not saying that. But I think medically... If there's people who feel like they're getting a benefit from it, why would you not? And I think, personally, there are people who are getting benefits from it. Well, where, where do you stand on recreation? What do you think of that? Uh, well, I would not have a problem with it, but I can see why there's an argument where you don't want that to happen. So I'm not going to say you push for that. I mean, I, I really think if people want to, they're going to, and if they need to, they can get a medical release anyway because you can say, my back, my neck, or whatever. Sure. You can get that if you want. And, and if that's – you're going to do it anyway, what, what's the difference? But, I mean, I would think that, you know, there's nothing – if people want to do that, I think there's a lot of worse alternatives to be doing. I mean, maybe drinking a lot of alcohol is just as bad. What's happening, Ronnie? Um, also, like I said, the, 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 pain, the, <laughs> the pain pills are probably some of the worst things we have going on right now, in my opinion. So. That, I, I, well, I think, I think that is the absolute worst thing. And so when I think of – What's happening, Billy? Good to see you, buddy. If, if, there's a, if there's a place for marijuana in the treatment of pain or treatment of, of, of other things, I'm all for it. If we can get people – away from these damn opioids that are causing exactly. all of these issues. Um, <clears throat> I've just, I've, I've, I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it secondhand. I've read about it. I've heard people talk about it. it it's got me to the point where I pray to God I never have chronic pain like that to where 
I have to even try an avenue like that because it terrifies me. Man, I remember, okay, this happened to me. This is a legit story. I remember I had one of my knee surgeries. Um, my ACL got replaced, everything. I wake up uh, out of it. I take the pills they were giving me. Um, I remember I was like, after about three days, I was like, man, I don't want to take these pills anymore. My stomach was hurting, and I, I was feeling like, man, my head hurt. I was like, I feel like I was having like many, many withdrawals from taking these pills for a few days. And I was like, I was just lucky. Like, I have, you know, I, I recognize I knew what it was. I knew a lot of people who just continue to take them, and their life's totally different. And, man, that, that's a real legitimate problem. These doctors are giving these pills. And people don't really realize that they are very addictive, and they're just taking it. I'm following doctor's orders, well, then you can't anymore. You need more, you need more. It's just it's a bad thing. And I see people who, you know, fire department on heroin every day. It's a terrible problem. Yeah. But it's it's all started from that usually. So and, the, and 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 the thing that gets me is that is is that is where it starts. Um, you know, kind of granted anecdotal. Okay, I I have, I have a, a phobia against a phobia for spiders medications. Oh, okay. Um, like I hate taking pills. Like if I'm taking medication of any kind, it's because I feel like I'm dying. And the reason why I had, I had a buddy in high school whose mother, um, well, she was a junkie for all that, you know. Yeah. And you know, she went to a methadone clinic every week. Wow. They gave her like that. all her methadone for the week, and then she'd go home, and all of her little friends would come over, Tell and they have that was a, a swapping party of drugs. Wow. And that then, I, like and then I'd sit fun. there and watch her all week long, not off on on her couch, over, yeah. you know, for all day. And I'm sitting here like, man, like, that doesn't look fun to be sleeping no, all day. No, no, it's, it's hey, terrible. How about a drug that makes you do push-ups and jump around or something? Not sleep. Can know? we get cocaine? I, I can sleep. I'm just kidding. Come, come out. Sorry. <laughs> it's a good show, guys. Good yeah, show. Yeah. Back to our uh, <laughs> sponsors. Uh, you know, thank you, uh, Stack Pickle. <laughs> yeah. That, that place, thank you very much yeah, for having Yeah, brother, just come hang out These here. These guys over here. It's people over here. They're not listening over there. Yeah, there they are. Hey, there, 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 there. We got some, we got some support are. over there. Hey. What up, Vance? I see Vance right here in the house. Good to see him walk in. There you go. All right. Yeah. We got some people here. Cool. Uh, what else? So, man. Hey, what's up, Heather Tolson? How you doing? All right. So, we got to talk about some weird stuff now. It's going to get weird. I apologize for everybody. But, um, man, I don't know what's happening here, but... A lot of perverts going on right now. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Maybe it's – I know it's been going on forever, and it's, it's been kind of a hush-hush situation about it. But uh, everybody's coming out, and, and it's not just pedophiles right now. It's, you know, sexual assault by dudes. Uh, I just heard a new one today. I didn't hear that on my way before I got here. Louis C.K., one of my favorite comedians, uh, people are saying that he likes to get girls in there and say, hey, do you mind if I get naked? And – go to town and he does it and it's like what are you doing you freak uh but he's done it to multiple people this wow. and he says i got problems yeah you got problems dude yeah. i mean that's not a normal thing now the, the weird one that i just heard you know i've been believing this for a long time uh, you know the cory feldman's been coming out for a long time saying there's a huge problem and the biggest problem in hollywood has been and always will be pedophiles uh, elijah woods came out and said the same thing um, now, the National Enquirer came out recently and uh, just said that Charlie Sheen was the guy who raped Corey Amon. I've heard that a while ago. Now, you, really? can, laugh, you can laugh at the National Enquirer, but there's, they've been right about an awful lot of stuff. They, I'm they, not kidding. They, they, you they they laugh been. at them. They've been right about a lot of stuff. They come out and break some of this stuff early. You know, Charlie Sheen has a he came out there. I mean, a lot of this stuff, people laugh at them. They're legit on a lot of this, this stuff. Now, like the you know, space man comes in and is president. That's not true, but um, some of the stuff they are. Now, there's a lot of people who will like, corroborate this story about the Charlie Sheen, Corey Haim thing, which led to some problems. And you also have this Harvey Weinstein thing. Everybody knows about that right now. Um, a lot of people have heard about Bill Clinton going on this trip on this uh, airline Lolita or whatever with a guy named Epstein who is like a, a registered sex offender. And uh, it was confirmed Bill Clinton has been on there 11 times on the, the world oh. record. But... The pilot's record says 29 times. They said they have to keep their own records. So we've been on there 29 times. Um, I think um, uh, uh, Prince Andrew's been on there, um, a, a couple professors from Harvard. Uh, who else? Um, I think they said that um, so Kevin this Spacey. Is deep. This is and this is where they go to other islands, and there's, I don't know, a 15-year-old girl came out and said she was part of this, uh, the sex trafficking going on there, and they bring these people in there. She said she did stuff with Prince Andrew. She did stuff with certain people. Um, and so, yeah, that's basically, they go to this island, secluded island, where they have underage girls, maybe boys, I'm not real sure, but uh, there's a lot of that going on. So, 
you know, I have heard a lot of, there's a lot of conspiracy theories, which I don't think they sound that crazy anymore, where you say a lot of Hollywood, a lot of the music industry, and a lot of Washington, D.C. is involved with a lot of pedophilia. I, I mean, it, it, and, and the weird thing is here, you got Kevin Spacey right now, is probably in the same treatment center as Harvey Weinstein. I got to tell you guys, I'm sorry. Is there's Kevin not, Spacey, there's not a, is he in a treatment center? I thought he was, he said he was going to seek treatment. Here's okay. the problem. There's no treatment for that kind of stuff, man. I'm sorry. If you're a, if you're like that, that, you're not getting treatment. I'm better. No. You're and you're going to get treatment weird... now. When, 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 when Alec Gage yeah, was well, 30 40 years, years ago. ago. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe there's treatment. If you really wanted really 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 to help, that would have happened then. Yeah. Not, not, not now when you, you get caught. You don't like it because you're caught. Um, you, you got some issues, man. I, I, don't, I don't think there's treatment for that besides, you know, castration. Maybe? I don't know. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it. Yeah. I really am. I feel like there's there's not a worse crime to commit. Not at all. You do something to a kid. A crime doesn't. against a child. I almost, a child. I, almost, I, almost, I almost want to find somebody. I, I, I try to do the, I want to do like the, the catch a predator thing, you know, in my own house. Like have them, have them come over. I'm a 12 year old. Whatever. I, I feel, I feel like there's a reality house. station. We can, we need to push you that come, too. Yeah, you come to my house. It's going to get ugly. And, and then he then broke and in. Lights out. Yeah, oh, you, he <laughs> broke in. I don't know what happened. Oh man, but I would love to do that. Because, uh, uh. Those people discuss the more. But, than it, but, it, but it runs deep, and whenever you have people in that in that power, that capacity, I, I believe you're 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 getting the worst of the worst at that point because they feel like they can get away with whatever they want. Well, they've been able to so and far. And when you have so. sick individuals in places of power like that, it just gets. What's happening, Charles? This, this this is what this is what happens. It's, it's yeah, it, it sucks. We got we got some. So What's happening? We got we got Mike Ernest. What's happening, Mike? Oh, and Andy, Andy from Tennessee. What's yeah, up, yeah, Andy? And then we got Vinny Warg Warger, Warburger, Warburger. We just need we just need to work 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 on somebody's there handwriting. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and a little bit of sad news right now. I don't know if you guys are into baseball. Phillies. A uh, old picture. Well, Roy Holiday dies in a plane crash. Uh, I think he's really low in the ocean. The sea, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Sad, sad time. That's, though you don't like to see anybody if that happened to him. Um, in some interesting news, too, we had one of my favorite guys, the guy I backed for president this last year, uh, Rand Paul. Rand Paul was involved in altercation. Um, he was cutting his grass, apparently, and blindsided by his neighbor. <laughs> they share a property line, this guy. Tackled him to the ground and proceeded to beat the bejesus out of him. I don't know exactly what it did. He broke six of his ribs, three yeah. of them like bruised as long. He was in really bad shape. I don't know what the hell happened. They just say, I know one guy was on the far right, one's on the far left. They say it had nothing to do with that. I think they share a property line. And there's something oh, you heard it had nothing to do with it. I heard it had everything to do with it. Well, the neighbor was, was attacking him for his, but they said his was, beliefs and for his voting rights. That makes sense because it was completely unprovoked. They said, but Grant's, first of all, here's the weird thing Grant's cutting his own grass. That's pretty I, impressive. No, 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 I love the guy for that. I, I, I do, but here's the weird thing. They're an assessor right now. Should you be in D.C.? Can't you pay a guy like, oh, i got to get home. i got to cut the grass. you got to fly home to cut well, the grass. Paul, Paul Ryan still goes home every weekend. Good he, he, goes back, he goes back to Wisconsin every weekend and spends the weekend with his family. I, I, I love oh, that. I do, too. I do, too. I like that about both of those guys. Thing. What's happening, Jesse? Hey, uh, Jesse. Seaver? 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 Seaver. 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 Okay. Yeah, and Michael Seaver. So, so I mean, uh, that was pretty cool, though, that, you know, he came back to cut his grass, I guess. Uh, but then his neighbor attacked him because they said there was some little dispute over some um, grass clippings or leaves or something, but they like that wouldn't cause it. So last I heard, they like some people speculated it might be political, but some other people said it wasn't. I, I don't know what else to think of it, but I mean, man, go and just attack somebody because how they vote. I mean, one, one, one thing I, I love Rand Paul, and I love Rand Paul because I never listen to him and feel like he's lying to me. Exactly. And I've never once listened to him and thought back and said, man, he said something different before. No, he's consistent. He's um, going to be consistent. You might not agree with him, but he's consistent. And, and, so, and so I love him for those two things. Second of all, I love that he goes home and mows his own grass. I do too, man. Like that, that, makes you, that makes you a person in my mind. Exactly. Um, he and, can definitely pay somebody to do that. He's got yeah, absolutely. Money. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to cut my own grass. That's absolutely. And, now, I think it shows character, and, and we're lacking character in our Senate right oh, now. Oh, 100%. Now, to be honest with you, uh, the reason I like Rand Paul is the same things I like about you know his 180-degree counterpart, uh, uh, Bernie Sanders. Now, we've had some problems with talking about Bernie. Some people who tried to go to podcasts didn't like us for it. I'm not mentioning any names, but they wouldn't let us be there. I'm just saying. 
plays on north side. Ryan plays on. I'm just. I'm, anyway, we don't want to go to north side anyway. Go north side because they don't like us. We don't it, like it, you. And it wasn't even like the good north side. It was like Castleton. Yeah, yeah. Like nobody. Yeah, yeah. Castleton 10, 15 years ago. Okay, now so, no, not so much. So. So, okay, but Bernie, here's the thing about him. I don't believe he's lying to me. I believe – here. that's a sad thing. I believe he believes that crazy nonsense. He is – whoo. Because um, here's the thing about Bernie the other day. He had a bill come out. He's trying to get – I think he's already got 15 or 16 other senators to sign on, which is one of the scariest things you're going to hear. This health care plan he has is basically Medicare for everybody. It, it, everything's free. It costs a lot. We'll go over that in a minute. Everything's free. Everybody gets anything they want. Don't have to worry about the cost. The problem is his tax plan, they estimated it's going to cost over the next 10 years $32 trillion. So I'm not real good at math, but that's approximately $3.2 trillion per year. Now, we bring in about $3.3 trillion. So basically 100% of our budget is your health care. Bernie, these numbers don't add up, you crazy that's man. Are you kidding me? percent of our current national debt. You, 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 are you, how can you do can you, how can you illustrate faith? You're going to tell me you want to spend every nickel we ever bring in on health care. Nothing else. No, no, nobody having jobs, no self-defense. I mean, there's nothing. Are you that crazy? I, I mean, I, and I saw, he's saw, saw and people thing. signed on to it. Are you kidding me? How else? This, this, can that this be is, real? This isn't going to go anywhere. Please, so please, I'm not anybody, if it. any of you people support Bernie, please explain that to me. Explain how that works. How you doing, Lori? And then and watch the, cir- the, the, the circular logic that happens. Please, I got to hear. I got to um, hear how that makes sense. But, okay, so, so the, thing, the, thing, the thing with Medicaid for all, A, I don't think it's going to happen. But B, it better not. We'll be broke him, him in a week. Him and Cruz had a, a, a had debate where, okay. where, 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 where this came up, this, this Medicare for all, Medicaid for all, whatever it is. And, <laughs> of course, the, the question of small business came in, and Bernie says, you know, in, in, in his best, you know. You know, my, actually, I do you know. know. Yeah. I'm going to put it in cook. <laughs> I know. The guy's been on the um, government team forever, but go ahead. Yeah, he has. But that small business is going to love it because they won't have to subsidize. Yeah, but literally, all you have to do is look at the thriving small business market in Canada and the UK. Oh, the Canada. Like how much small business loves <laughs> socialized medicine. Um, there, there isn't a, a small business market in either, just so everybody's aware. Um, <laughs> what about Venezuela? Things are going good there, right? God. This was paradise. Come on, Venezuela. It's, you can Yeah. Go. Oh, you see Venezuela? They're the, eating Venezuela, the, the, There's an article where they're, they're killing they're zoo animals. Zoo animals, yeah. They're breaking into the zoo and killing animals for meat because there's and no. This is your utopia, socialist. Yeah, it's great, you know. Have you ever had zebra? Might be good, I'm just saying. I try it. I try it once. Yeah, if I were starving to death, I guess. If you want to kill all the co- da- dogs and cats and pigeons and all that stuff, I'm just saying, you know, I, I'm not real sure. How this is even a debate? When you go, I want to spend every nickel we ever bring in in taxes on health care for everybody. Well, no, you, 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 have, you have to raise well, taxes here's the, here's because nobody's paying their fair share. What about the free education we're supposed, everybody's supposed to get? Where's that money? Where's that too? Free or for, the for the two? No, I don't know. Wait, my magic wand. <laughs> wait, wait, the one point. Terrible, terrible impression. Two I do a better Obama. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I did love too. I mean, there's another bombshell that came out. Donna Brazil, I mean, is basically just screwing her own party over badly. You know, I mean, she's that's so funny. That's the funny thing is, she's just like, I'm getting paid. Uh, I'm selling this book, and I'm coming out with. The, basically, she came out and said, oh, Obama and his huge uh, Titanic-sized ego that he had basically bankrupt the entire Democrat party uh, in his last few years in office. Didn't do any fundraising or spent all the money on himself. That's mm-hmm. what she said. And that set up for, for Hillary to come in and just buy, you know, the Democrat the, National Party, which was crazy. Leader, uh, before, because Donna Brazil is not a leader of the Democratic Party. No, the, she uh, was uh, uh, um, that Jimmy, uh, whatever, um, Schultz, hair girl. Schultz girl, whatever. Oh, I can't think of her name. Washington. Washington Schultz. Schultz. Yeah, but, but um, she, she, yeah, she got trouble guess, for leaking emails or something. Right, but well, she told Hillary, you can, you can, you, can, you gotta fix this. Your your campaign donations has to, has to have to get us back in the black. Yeah, because they were so far hooked from Obama. And they were several million, in- which is hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love every second of it. Like, yeah, I just if, if you don't see the irony, you're you're willfully blind. You're choosing to be blind, but it's all funny. Hey, yeah. I got some good news. Do you want to, can, we, can we get some good news sure. before we get the pressing? What? Hold on. Do what? Oh, yeah. Houston we did win the World about Series. That. Houston, they are uh, – by the way, you guys, I'm not a big baseball guy, but watching that World Series, 
was excellent, man. There was a lot it of good fun. games on there. I'm not a big World Series guy, but congrats to Houston. Uh, never won it before, so I was really pulling for them. Uh, they won. That was a fantastic thing. But, man, that was a good series. Very exciting. All the games, especially the one that went – it was on until, like, 1.30 in the morning. They just uh, they were down. They came uh, – Houston came back and created for the home runs. And it was back and forth. It was a great game. Was a I, thought the, I was rooting for Houston through, through, through the whole thing. And the reason why I'm not a big baseball fan, just so everybody's aware, and I'm sorry for those that are, um, but there was a, a meme of all four Kardashians in um, Dodgers jerseys. Oh, it was like you had four, reason, four reasons to root yes. for Houston. And I'm like, guys, what's happening, Tim? I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> hey, anything they're for, I'm against. I don't know what it's for. They could be like, yeah. 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 I'm cats. I'm like, kill them. Kill all the cats. No cats. The know. internet will die. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> All right, so, so good news out of the U.K., and the U.K. doesn't give me good news much because what they view as good, typically I don't. Um, they got Dennis coming? Dennis? No, no, but they do have a new baby. Oh! Okay, there, the whole is, country? there is a baby born. All right. A, in, in the U.K., they have term limits on abortions. And babies. Okay. okay. At 24 weeks. 20, you're four, 24 weeks pregnant, you cannot have an abortion in the UK. Um, this baby was born after 20, 23 weeks of gestation. So a week before their abortion cutoff. And the reason why that's significant is because you have one, one of the left's argument, with the, the, the pro-abortion argument is that, um, is viability. If the baby's not viable outside of the womb, then it's okay to kill it. That, that's that's the that's the logic. Um, it's not a real person until it's viable. Um, because that's what we're talking about. Obviously, killing people is bad. So in order to kill a fetus, you have to determine that, that, that that's not a person. Um, but this is a week a week before that line. Um, you know, the, the 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 caption of the original article I I I, uh, I, I saw was that or what was that's one, or one, one courageous clump of cells. I think I think it was as a as a as a ton and cheek thing, but you know I've, I I read that and I'm just like and I've been having this debate with a friend of mine, um, who does not see things the way that I do, um, and it it, it it was heartening. You know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a life of conception guy, um, and I think if if you can point to me a specific time where that becomes a person, and then maybe maybe I'll, maybe I'll agree with you, um, but nobody's yet to be able to do that for me. Um, because my question always is, well, I say, okay, what, well, at six months along, okay, it's not good anymore. Okay, what about five five months and, and 29 days? Yeah. So so there, there's a magical moment Boom. where that's now a person, and now we're talking murder instead of just, you know, scraping, you know, a, a, a clump of cells. A clump of cells, by the way, that has its own DNA um, that's completely separate and different from the mother. But, you know, who's, no, who knows? <laughs> Slipper slope. Yeah, there we go. Um, but I thought that was some good news. That baby yeah. is living. He's ten months old now. Um, I don't know why it was in a neutral right now, but it was. And I was just, I was, I was thrilled about it. Man, talk about living and dying. Another tragedy, man. In Texas, we had a shooting. Twenty-six, I believe, dead. Last time I heard. Um, I got twenty-six dead and twenty injured. Man, I mean, what is? I don't know exactly what's going on. The guy walks in and just starts blasting everybody at this church. Um, very sad, but to me, the, the the only bright note, the positive aspect of this is, you know, you had a next door neighbor who was there, uh, barefoot, grabs his gun, walks over and gets in a gunfight with the guy, hits him a couple times. The guy kind of runs off because he's a coward, you know, runs off and ends up dying in his car. I don't know if it was from self-inflicted gun wound or if it was just from the bullet holes that he had already taken from this guy, but. Um, that guy is the hero that I call me. I mean, that be you know how that take a lot of balls to be hearing a bunch of shots coming. You don't know what's going on there. You grab your gun and go. I'm gonna go help out. Whatever's happened. There could have been four guys in there shooting. It could have been. You don't know. He goes in there and you know has a battle with this guy and saved a lot of people. I'm sure. So that dude's a hero. That's pretty awesome. Um, I love hearing that story. How a guy with a gun came in there and saved a lot of people's lives. I hate that we had another shooting like this in a church. I hate the 20 people. people 26 people are dead. I hate that 20 other people are injured up, from this from this jack wagon. Who, and that's exactly what it was. I mean, we talk, talk about red flags. This guy had them all. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a guy who should never have a gun. And that is my problem right there with 
he can government in charge of doing stuff. They're the most They're bad at everything. They're bad at name one thing that they do officially. There's none. No such thing ever. But go ahead. And, 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 and that proves that point. Um, you you want to put was, them in charge of health care? I don't. Go ahead. No, not at all. I, I, take the post office. Yeah, they, only lose a, cancer. they only lose a few billion. I mean, I'm like, people are like, well, they, they do a great job. No, they don't. They lose tons of money. FedEx and UPS do a great job. They make money. You know, these people are inefficient. But go ahead. All right. So we're so so this guy Kelly. Kelly's his last name. I don't name. want to, I don't want to, I don't want to go into go to his name, but uh, you're talking about somebody who's not legally allowed to have a gun. However, was able to purchase a firearm. Um, because basically, what it came down to is the Air Force screwed up. Yeah. Um, and a quote from the Air Force: a criminal conviction. Uh, did not make it until the federal database. Uh, the Texas Tribune uh, quoted to the Air Force has launched a review of how the service uh, has handled has handled the records of former airmen, blah, 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 following his 2012 domestic violence conviction. Kelly was convicted by a general court martial on two charges of domestic assault against his wife and his stepson under Article 128 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice. He served 12 months of confinement at the Naval Consolidated Brig Myanmar. In California and is being before being released with a bad conduct discharge in 2014. That doesn't tell the whole story because I read a little further into it. I didn't, I didn't continue with with my notes there, but he literally cracked this little boy's skull that was like uh, 10 months old. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we got a wacko here. Man. We're not we talking about who... a little. We're not talking about a misunderstanding. We're not talking about uh. Well, she hit on me and then I pushed her. No, no, no. We're talking about this. Some 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 extreme type well, stuff. And, and he was also arrested for beating a dog and dragging it down the but, road. And, and he got caught trying to bring weapons back on the military base to shoot. He wanted to shoot his officer who's like who turned him in or got rid of him or something. He wanted to come in there and do bodily harm to people, and they caught him. This is a guy who should never have a gun. You know, this is what this is a problem. Is we do have laws on. They want more laws. Why not enforce the laws we have? That's my problem. If you get caught doing stuff like this, if you are trying to do something illegal with a gun. They even throw the book at you. I mean, there's not any, well, he didn't mean, no, if you get caught like in a robbery trying to rob people with a gun, mm -hmm. I'm thinking 10 years minimum being that because you have that gun. Or, or any time, then any time you have a gun, we're not allowed to, you have five, I mean, you need to do a lot of time because of that. That's the only way you're going to make people stop. If you have that gun, you are going to get in huge trouble for it if you're not supposed to be using it that way. You don't use it for defense or to carry it fine, but once you start committing crimes with it, it needs to be big problems. Um, now, now back to the back to the good side of, of, of this story because I do love this, and 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 there are people in certain in certain political circles that absolutely hate this and will fight this idea tooth and nail. I 100% firmly believe that the only defense against a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Absolutely, and that's um, a lot of people are saying. The only problem is you can have more people with guns than them. Stephen Wilford is the name of the guy who who, who there we who, who go yeah, 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 I like this guy um, you know he, he left this house at the sound of the of, of the gunshots um, he shot this the, the Texas shooter twice um, and I watched I don't know if you saw or not he had a, he had a exclusive interview with Stephen Crowder I like and I, Crowder. I sat and watched that and he, he gave his play-by-play -play account of it and it, it literally gave me chills What's up, Robert? Um, you know this guy who's, who's grown, and, 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 and this is this is the like if you if you have an idea of the nicest person you ever met in your life, like this is him. Yeah. This is this is like an older gentleman with a white beard because he's growing Santa it out Claus, yeah. because he dresses up as Santa Claus and rides a Harley around there town, a little little, like little underprivileged like kids, um, and and he, he he's 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 this this person that in, in my head should be a mythical person because they're like they're just a good good guy and the left hates him. Of course they do. Hates him what? He's he's an NRA instructor. Oh, they hate him because he, you know, he didn't let this guy kill more people so they could and you know, get rid of guns. Ah, uh, so anyway, uh, so I've got a list. Are you are you, are you are you ready for a new segment just for today? Sure, let's hear it. What's the top five lies about the Sutherland Spring shooting? All right, let's hear it. Okay, the top five one. lies by the media. MSNBC quote. <laughs> oh God. Let's hear it. Come on, we gotta hear this. This, one. this is hard. This is hard to read. Someone, someone has has to help you cash a check, but you can buy a gun. What this is referring to is an Obama is a, an, an Obama care administration, uh, an Obama administration ruling that basically said if you're on social security disability, okay, and you you say, hey, I need some help with my finances. Yeah. They said you can no longer have a gun. You're mentally incompetent to have a gun. Well. The Trump administration went in and changed that and said no. Before you do that, you have to go through due process. Has to go in front of a judge. Then the judge can can take a 
can take away your right, but it's not going to happen automatically because you ask for help from assist, just okay. because you ask, ask for assistance. But again, you have the you have the the spin from MSNBC, All right. um, you know, which is which is ridiculous. Another one from MSNBC. They're my they're my favorite. Like yeah, my favorite ones to make fun nothing, of. Nothing but a good material here. Well, so yeah. Why do you need any assault rifles? An assault rifle is different from a gun. And literally, my note just says insert awkward pause. Yeah, well, it is a gun, but go ahead. I don't know how to. Uh, okay. Um, CNN reported that the Texas shooter was Sam Hyde. Um, Sam Hyde. For, the, for those of you who don't know, Sam Hyde is a comedian. Um, and he's made famous because he, he plays a persona of an alt right character. Uh -huh. And so he is the lone white shooter uh, as a character. And so it's, 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 it's an internet meme. And literally, CNN reported that he, he was a shooter in Texas. Uh, um, at, at one point in time. Uh, hey, that's some good uh, investigatory From stuff. Democratic Senator Brian Schatz, who is a Democratic Senator from Hawaii, I believe. Um, his quote was, uh, a quote, oh, I'm sorry, he proposed closing the domestic violence loophole to get a gun. That's the face Wait, I have. The thing. They don't, that's there's not, there's not a domestic on. violence yeah. loophole. That's, that's, that's the federal government not doing its job. Uh, and the best one, I think, was from Slate. Um, I, I I hate Slate. I think they're they're terrible people. But Kelly, who is a shooter, used an assault rifle in his church massacre. The weapon used by Wilford, the good guy with a gun, was described merely as a rifle, which suggests a hunting or sport rifle rather than an assault weapon. They literally both had the same rifle. <laughs> literally right the same That's rifle. That's pretty cool. Um, but it's kind of like USA Today with their with their AR-15 with a chainsaw um, bayonet. bayonet yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd be like some of them, one of those movies. What was those, like uh, Evil Dead or whatever? I oh, yeah. Those weird movies. Or like the video games. Like, remember Doom? Yeah. Back in the day, remember Doom? Yeah. If you call Doom, you have that. That'd be good. If you call Doom, people, let me know. That sounds really good. The USA Today rightfully got just internet blasted by that. We, we talked a little bit about we, the Colts. We didn't talk about the Colts. Talk about luck. Yeah. There's not a whole lot to talk about as far as the Colts go, unfortunately, because we want to be positive. We're trying to we're trying to make lemonade here. Um, but but we do have some more negative news. I, I think this is kind of positive because um, I like when this happens. But you know, Hollywood is just the people there are so scared. they don't get they don't really understand who's paying their bills. I think sometimes because uh, with that girl uh, Mila uh, Kunis, she comes out. <laughs> And she's like, yeah, I'd make donations to Planned Parenthood all the time under Mike Pence's name because I want him to get all the mails and da da da. So uh, now people are boycotting Jim Beam because she's a spokesman for them. So let's see how long it takes before Jim Beam says, eh, maybe you don't want to be our spokesman. Maybe it's not you, it's us. We're going to get rid of you because, I mean, they, why, why would they want people to boycott them? Because so you got to understand when you're saying these type of things, there's going to be backlash. You know, when, you're a, when you have a sponsor who's paying you money to do things, you probably shouldn't open your mouth and, and say stupid things like that. But Here, I, thought, I don't know. I thought the whiskey was causing the boycott, but no, no, no I, it's our, it's our, <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, what, what's great about that story that I love doesn't since, since Mila, Mila is, is is willing to donate so much money to Planned Parenthood, doesn't that kind of prove that they don't need government funds? One with they got plain room private hey, they donations. Got, they got a lot of people they got to kill. They need money from everywhere. It was like three hundred thousand a month or something like that. That's know, that's crazy. But anyway, the, uh, TSA they uh, they had a, a test the other day. They somebody like they snuck people on there. They tried to see if they would catch the, the uh, contraband being brought down there, and they failed at over fifty percent of the time. Matter of fact, somebody goes. They're, they're trying to question them. How many people found? How what percent? They go. Really can't say that they go eighty percent. Like hey, you're in the ballpark. So in the ballpark, eighty percent of the shit they're trying to get through got through. That ain't good, man. I mean, I'm, that, that I, has been par for the course for the team. I know, but I'm just I'm saying I've been searched many times, and I go, "Do you ever find anything?" And they go, "Not really." So I'm like, "That's good. I'm glad you're still doing it, though." You know what? Are you, what are you doing? I, I, if you're failing that many times, and I'm telling you, anything the government does is inept in every way. Yeah, hundred percent. You want something screwed up, put the government in charge of it. Exactly. So, uh, what else? I thought another good story I saw, there was, I don't know if you guys, I, I looked up, uh, there's a place, um, Everett, Everett, Washington. You ever been there? I have not. I have never heard of but, it. Me neither. But um, there was a, a prostitute there, an escort, I'm sorry, and uh, apparently she shot a man in the head twice for uh, not giving her 
oral pleasure the, the correct way. She came out of town, so she shot him in the head twice. I said, wow, what a tough place that is. I mean, I, I, I no, I'm not going there, uh, I guess. I mean, that's just a process. I'm under the regular people. I mean, she's getting paid. Think about the regular person. Not getting paid. They're probably definitely shooting you. I don't. I thought that was crazy. Um, wow. Weird that it's hit bit. Look it up. I did it crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, that's a bad day at work, I guess. He just wasn't good. I, I hate my job. <laughs> Not this again. He's doing it wrong. I can't take it anymore. If she's a prostitute, what's he doing to work for anyway? Escort. Come on. Escort. That's different. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Can we get any help from our audience? Anybody got any you know, Is, good prostitutes? Is there a difference between an escort and a prostitute? Is it like a date first? Is that is that what it is? I, I don't know. It's a good question. Good question. What else? Now, Ric Flair, I just saw an interview woo, from woo, the Ric Flair, that guy. Yeah. And he said for several years he would drink uh, about 15 drinks a day, which is a lot, you know, by any standards. And I'm impressed. boom, 10,000 women do something with 10,000 women that's allegedly. Now that's a lot. If you do the math, that's like two a day for about 15 years. Rick, you didn't take any days off. You didn't go home for like and that's yeah, he's different. married. That's not. Yeah, not, that's, that's, that's different. Too woman. different I mean, it's like, eh, nope, didn't get before. Get out. Uh, two a day. I mean, that's a busy guy, man. I mean. Did he have any matches in between there? I don't get it, dude. That's, that's a, that, that sounds like Wilt when Wilt said he had twenty thousand. Wilt said he had like twenty thousand in a ten-year period, and they did something they average. That's like seven twenty thousand. Seven a day, Wilt. Really? I mean, I don't think he's good with numbers. But that, that's where right. <laughs> twenty days with Will. Seven a day. You know, that's a little much. You know, that doesn't seem Man. right. Man, he had seven a day. He'd be nothing. I'm like, I'd be worn out. Like, I don't. Know. I'm not doing anything else. Yeah. I mean, how, you, you fed a couple of basketball games. You scored 100 points one game. How'd you yeah. How do you do that with? I mean, he'd be scoring five. Like, nah, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm done. Who cares? Whatever. <laughs> I made a couple of baskets. I'm, I'm gonna go on the bench, but yeah. <laughs> you have girls in the locker room blowing. Uh, you know, looking <laughs> Poor Will. Hey, basketball's a team sport. Hey, I think he just threw <laughs> a big number out there. What's a lot of? What's a lot of money? Forty thousand, a lot of money. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. yeah. God. So Ric Flair said ten thousand. So not quite wilt like status, but still pretty good. I mean, it's, it's woo worthy. Yeah. It's I mean, yeah, that's a woo, you know. But who knows? I don't know. Yeah, this is weird. I got some weird stuff going on here. What's happening, Scott? Good to see you, buddy. Um, what else there? Now, this is for my uh, Dumbass of the Week. I have a Dumbass of the Week award. I love it. And mine's going to go to the CMAs. That's right, the Country Music Awards. You guys might love the Country Music Awards, but here was their Dumbass move. Uh, they had picks sing, and everybody was kind of over there, like, scratching their head. They're like, this is not country music. You no, know? it's not I mean, country at all. be like you have a death metal band or something. It's like, that's not country music. What were they thinking when they had... Somebody who doesn't sing country music on there. That sounds nothing like country music, you know. She didn't talk about her dog. There was no truck. Nobody died. <laughs> it was crazy. There was booze. Yeah, so I'm like, they were, I mean, people were very confused. People were going, why would they have this dude, girl do this? And it made no sense. And after that, they have Garth Brooks come up, and uh, he lip-synced it, and they kind of admitted it. Yeah, that was fake. So I'm like, you guys Wait, could not come up. Garth Brooks. Oh, okay. And he won some, like, you know, entertainer of the year. However, he didn't sing. <laughs> And they, they listened, and everybody knew it, and they and he said it. So it was it's very strange. Said, well, my voice, I'm on tour, so it, it hurts right now. So I'm I mean, thinking, if, if wow, anybody man, in the music what, world what works horrible, hard, it's Garth Brooks. Yeah, but I mean, what a horrible country music awards when you have the people not really singing, and then you put the person who might have really sang. I don't know, but she's not a country music person no. in any way. Did so. you watch the, the the CMAs? Come on, dude, I would never do that. Okay, I didn't either. But I did see a clip of Brad Paisley and, oh, what's her name? The Before He Cheats girl. Oh, uh, um, Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. Boom! And I'm not so, so a couple years they did, you know, they, they always have these little skits where they, they sing and they, they make fun of something political. And country music, you're coming from the right, of course. But they were able to do something that the left will never do, and they made fun they made fun of Donald Trump. Uh, okay. Left would never do that. You're right. Um, well, no, the left will do that, but the left would never make fun of Barack Obama. Oh, no. no. Never, ever, ever would that have happened. Um, and they were able to come out as a, you know, CMTs, you're looking at, you're, you are looking at a conservative brand. Sure. They were come, able to come out and make fun of Donald Trump, and it was funny. Yeah. I laughed. And I appreciate that, 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 that they were willing to do 
what the left is not willing to do, and that is make fun of their own side. Yeah, that's great. I love I that was great. What, what do you got for dumbass of the week? We got there? dumbass. Oh, we're going back. We're going back to the senator from Hawaii what? because he had to tweet. He had to tweet. Where is it? Jackass of only, the week. Only one guy can tweet stupid stuff all the time. Oh Matt no! Oh. oh no! Mister Senator Brian Schatz of Hawaii in a tweet quotes a simple idea. Anyone convicted of domestic abuse should see their rights under the Second Amendment severely curtailed. Well, um, Senator, it's already illegal for him to have a gun. Yeah. Um, you don't get much more severe than that. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how, how this happens. Oh, because are you kids? Hey, no, no, no. Do you remember the guy from Georgia? He was a, he was a senator, a congressman a few years ago, and he was talking about Guam. And they were talking about the – he kept talking about the dimensions of Guam and how long it was and why it was and how many troops they were putting on there. And this admiral kept going, what's the point? And he goes – well, my, my, my problem is it will just capsize and flip over. I'm, and everybody just sat there and looked. He thought it was an island was just a floating piece of land. Seriously. And it was going to flip over. And, every, and oh, the guy was God. like, no, it's not really. These, these are no, no, that, no, I promise. That really happened. Look it up. Look up. Georgia congressman thinks Guam will flip over. So that really happened. I, so when, these when, people when I, are not smart. <laughs> don't let them think for one minute these people are smart. They, when, I, when I look at public policy, the way that I judge public policy initially, in a very simplistic manner, is does this make me more or less free? If it makes me more free, it's a good thing. If it makes me less free, it's a bad thing. Somebody else just said that. I read that. So maybe. It might have been me because I say it quite a bit. No, it might have been one of those little rants. Um, but, but, I but, think it was anything about it. But, that, but that, that's, where, that's my, my initial gauge there. Um, so for those who, who, who vote for the – what is that? That vote it's for the if it gets blow up, blow, 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 blow up now. Uh, for those that vote for the less free, the big government guys, the the ones who, who who say, you know what, the people in Washington know what's best for me. I'm gonna let them make my decisions about my health care, about my living arrangements, about my job, about everything in my freaking life. I'm gonna let Washington decide what that is. These are the people who are making those calls, guys. Yeah, think that I was gonna flip over. It's I not mean, going to. What's happening, sir? Right on. You know, nobody's coming on mine in about 40 minutes, so I think there's a problem. But that's right. We'll deal with it. So anyway. People, hey, if you're watching my feed right now and you can hear me, shoot, shoot, shoot me a message. Let me, let me know this thing's working. Yeah, because like, we haven't had the comments in a while. I don't know what's going on. So what else do you got there? Do you got, any, uh, you got anything as far as uh, any other awards we got? I don't think I have any more awards. I think I, think I, got, I got through. Right on. I went lighter. Oh, I, I do have one thing. What's that? That we, that we missed. Uh, another state, another, another local state thing here in Indiana. Uh, Governor Holcomb unveils his 2018 legislative agenda. And what he wants to do is he wants drug-induced homicides charged as felony murders. Um, now, what that means that. is... They if, said if, if, you, if you sell somebody drugs and they die, you, it's like a murder charge. Yeah. Because they talked about that. I heard they're trying to do that already somewhere. Um. And I, I, I have mixed feelings about this. I, I don't see how, to me, no. I, I mean, I, do I want, I mean, I, I, it's a good idea, I guess. You would, I understand the thought, but I mean, I'm, I, you, they're doing that on their free will. That's not murder. You could yeah. say, like, I don't know, assisted, or, or you could help out. So there's, I, 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 I didn't put the needle in your arm, but. Yeah, no, that's kind of, that's kind of you killed thought. yourself. Just because I um, gave you something, and you, my free will chose to do that, I can't call that murder. No, Illinois it, 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 has a similar way. law. Never. Okay, um, but they rarely use it. In Illinois, it's a Class X felon. It said Class X. I don't know if that's Class X or Class 10. If I'm honest, I'm sorry for that. Um, like Generation X. Uh, but with a penalty of 15 to 30 years in prison um, for delivering a controlled substance that results in a person's death. Um, that, that shouldn't happen to me. I don't, I don't, I don't know where it's Man, I, I think they're going after I think they're chasing the wrong dragon on this. Probably. Um What's you happening, know, Gene? Like, we got Gene here. Drug dealers Gene suck. Cannon, what's happening? Hey, Gene. I don't know if you can see me. Probably not because people have a lot of problem. Um, but uh, I look forward to coming and hanging out with you guys sometime soon. So, um, you know, drug dealers suck, but 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 they're not the problem. You look at the, the and, it, and it, it's in it's in reaction to this opi opioid epidemic. Agreed. Um, agreed. But again, the, the the problem with this is starting with the pharmaceutical companies, not with I'm getting likes. I don't know who it was, but thanks, guys. But not with um. 
drug dealers. Drug, I mean, again, drug dealers are bad, but that's, there that's are not the cause of the problem. There's always going to be there, and you can't stop that. If there's a market, there's going to be somebody yeah. going to do it. I'm sorry. You know, I wish it weren't the case, but it is a case. Whatever. Yeah. God, it just it, it drives me nuts. Okay, so, we're going to stack pickle next week. Please show up. I hope you guys are in attendance. I'm not having any luck with this thing, so I'm going to have to get I, all through All that. right, yeah, we're going to hop we're off, guys. Thank you for videos. hanging out. Thanks I got one watching. on here, but that's about it. Um, yeah, stack pickle next week. Thank you, week. that yeah, place, for having us this week. Connor's Pub in two Don't weeks. Don't forget about CJ's. CJ's Pub, pub up in uh, – Where's this up? Uh, South Bend, South Bend, Indiana. South Bend. We also have some good sauce right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to use it on my ribs. So there you go. You guys have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you, guys.